So this is the battle. They're yeah, coming in with chills. the. They're coming with the fleet. Oh, mm. Could you imagine being the Navi seeing this coming to you? Whew. No, but I can't imagine being the humans being on the mission. That's right. Ready to go kill some folk. <laughs> yeah, just going out with this group and get a little zoom in here and get this, mm. this flight formation. A little bit chaotic, but I guess they got some type of formation. Yeah, it looks... Yeah, we've decided that they're pretty lax when it comes to procedures and formations. Mm. But man, this place is just jammed full of... Like, of ambush locations just every every rock just, and they're, they're all that's flying right. they, they 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 have full access of 3d space that's right the mountains only go so high why don't they just fly above the mountains that's right why don't they, they need to fly above the mountains because then no, nothing can be dropped on top of them exactly they're in a higher energy and state when they're high mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. they can come down on people mm -hmm. but they the other people the navi cannot drop things and bomb them and so what you are they can't doing? just you can't just have Navi and the Ikran and the, and the birds just hanging out waiting on top of the mountain, mm -hmm. like like they at least disperse. Not necessarily all of them above the mountains, but like mm -hmm. some of them on Overwatch, like right. That's right. And I think the atmospheric pressure at this altitude is okay. They they can definitely fly higher. Yeah. Oh, but then this is the cool cool uh, Navi side, like their own counter battle. That's right, yeah. And then there's this ground effort where like the helicopters dropped off foot soldiers, but then there's also like a different type of dropship, like a local dropship that drops off the mm -hmm. walker guy, the walker robots. Yeah. It was kind of weird that they decided to drop off ground troops into the forest with these, it seems like a risky drop off. Because mm. they'd have to have a clearing of some kind. Weird. Yeah. Gosh, what if you like dropped them onto sharp stuff? Done. That's right. Or somebody like there's an unforeseen branch. Hmm. Quicksand or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then the Navi have their their horse tribes running through here. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yep. And this is the thing they're attacking. Mm hmm. The tree of voices. Yep. Which they're going to attack it with a bombing run mm -hmm. here. So mm -hmm. they're going to fly over it and drop those pallets of explosives down mm -hmm. onto this and blow them up. Mm -hmm. So the I attack think... is coming from the from above. Mm -hmm. I think that's even the next picture. Yeah, this is the weapon. Mm -hmm. This is the mm -hmm. weapon of choice that the humans are going to drop on it. Yeah. So, so if the attack is air-based mm -hmm. <laughs> and all the horse people can are stuck on the ground, mm -hmm. why did we care about killing them at all? I know. <laughs> right? Like, right. All we all we need is the air escort, the air, the bomber, and the escort, and all these <laughs> these these um, navi on the ground are just irrelevant. Irrelevant. So why did you're saying why did we land grand ground yeah, why, troops? Yeah. Why, why did we? All? Why? 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 There's no reason for that. Right. Because the target is this. Right. So we come from above, drop the bomb from above, from and then stupidly high, from way high, as high as you can get, and then you leave. Yep. The ground force is taking out the Navi ground forces. How is that going to help the bombing run? I mean, if the Navi, if the ground, if the human forces are not on the ground, then the Navi horses can go surround the tree and like body shield it. But then like they just die in the explosion too. Right. And the logistics. <laughs> like, what is going on here? Why, yeah, why is there a ground fight at all? That's right. The logistics of the ground fight. You've got the helicopters. You got the troops. You got to armor them up. You got to get the the mechs in there. You've got to deal with the trees and the terrain. Like, not worth it. Why? Why? Why at all? Why? Why at all? All these ships that are dropping off people, they could have had gunners, or they could have just been in the sky themselves. That's right. You just go up to the treetops, use your thermal vision to see where the Navi are, and take them out with the door gunners. That's right. You don't even need VFR. You can just wherever the red thing is in the sky, pop, pop, pop. Pop, 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 pop. Yep. But then even you wouldn't even need to do that because they're irrelevant to the mission. Yeah, uh, yeah. You only need to fight. <laughs> you only need to fight the other flyers because right. all the people, all the Navi on the ground, are just they're just irrelevant. Right. They cannot defend anything from, from the, sky. the air. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why have ground forces? What is happening here? The colonel is just like, we're going to go kill him. We're going to go yeah. kill him. Shock and awe. Terror with terror. I, I am shocked that you guys launched troops on the ground. Why? Stay the course. Stay the course. Oof. I remember that one. 
Mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. The what mission? Everything. Killing them all. Mm. With this cool interface. This is the mech. This is inside the mech. This is one of the soldier guys mm -hmm. inside the mech. Uh, cool advanced hand thing. Mm -hmm. The readout it looks like this is where he is. Mm -hmm. Some type of sonar pingy something. Yeah. And I guess this terrain comes from the satellite. Probably. So they have some kind of GPS system that can geolocate them. Mm -hmm. And then overlay the terrain. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Super cool. I don't know how he drinks anything because his hands are just like <laughs> stuck in the thing. Imagine he like grabs a water bottle, like thunk, and like, some cracks his own shield. Yeah, why not have a? I get no helmet. Or you could have you could have the face mask with the helmet. You got the the helmet protection of the helmet, and then mm -hmm. you could also have a drinking straw for when you get dehydrated. You know, I've wondered how do pilots drink stuff, like That's fighter pilots. Like, yeah. How do they get I water? Know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So, this is just this is overwhelming for the the Navi, right? This person has never been here before, and yet he has this kind of terrain awareness. That that's supposed to be your home field advantage, right? right? It's gone, and it's maybe he still doesn't have as much awareness sure. of the sure. terrain, but it's much more than the Navi would expect for somebody who's never been there before. I mean, the the Navi need to rely on element of surprise. Because otherwise, humans just have too much, too much, too much firepower and too many bodies. Yeah, and this strips away a lot of element of surprise. That's right. That's right. Because they're monitoring the oh, whole yeah. battlefield. Fire, something. Yep. Yeah. Let's look at this crash. The physics of this crash was pretty awesome. Oh. Okay. So notice. The, the left forward engine gets taken okay. out, which means the thrust from that engine is taken out. Yeah. So that means the other engines, if they don't compensate right away, are gonna tilt the aircraft uh, toward the taken the out engine, and it's gonna tilt it forward because there's not enough thrust forward as well. Oh, so you're gonna, go, okay. you're gonna go, from their perspective, you're gonna go left and forward. Let's, that mm. does happen. Who's thrust left and forward? Ah, cause so so you're saying the back, the, like the back right thrusters are still doing the same thing that they normally do, which makes mm -hmm. it tip forward. Makes it tip forward, and, and they'll probably the they'll probably compensate eventually to tip, to bring it back. But in that temporary moment, it's going to tilt forward and left, which it does. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool. That's and then. The next time, the next thing it hits is like some rocks. It hits the rocks and takes out the left wing, okay. which means the left wing loses lift, which means okay. the right wing still has lift. So it's going to tip to the Even left again, more to the left. Right, and then once it gets into a really bad state, it just sort of di nose dives. Nonlinear, it's gone. So oh, it loses trying to left pull up, wing, trying to pull up. and then it tilts to the left because the right wing has all the lift, which torques it around to the left. Hmm. This is a detailed crash. Cool details, I think. Also, by flying low, they lost their exit off the planet. But I guess I guess there's another one in orbit. There must be more. Multiple in orbit, multiple on their way. They can just, you know, maybe there's infrastructure in orbit to get to get out of there. <laughs> Could you imagine if this was the only dropship? And <laughs> so then Jake Sully at the end, he's like, get off the planet. They're like, okay, we'll request a new dropship. So I guess we're prisoners for six years. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, also, we talked about they should just be high, like yeah, every day. Just fly so up. they fly well above the mountains. So this yeah. doesn't happen. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. So that doesn't happen right there. Mm -hmm. In fact, they are. This is this is the arch for the tree of soul. <laughs> they're trying, to thread, they're trying to thread the needle. <laughs> they're trying to get in there. What are we doing? We could just be, we could be up at 30,000 feet with, you know, our computer aiming system for our bombs. I guess they don't have computer aiming because they don't so. have the That's military cool. asset to do that. Gosh. Heck, they could drop stuff from orbit. That's right. But I guess if this is, now that I'm thinking about it, they improvised an explosive for the bomb, which is these pallets. These pallets of explosives, yeah. 
So maybe they do need to get in close because they don't have any military precision weapons because they figured they wouldn't need them. So um, they, they get this improvised one, so they got to get in low. Oh, okay, drop it yeah, off. yeah. Because they don't have like a gigantic guided missile. Like mm-hmm. they, they don't have that. They just have straight up explosives. Right. So, but then I think this is the inappropriate. This is an inappropriate craft to use for the drop off because it's too slow and lumbering and big. That's they need right. a more nimble craft to do a drop off. So, kind of the the colonel ship. The colonel ship would be more appropriate. It's got a little more, and it's it's able to hover. And it's able to carry those um, mech, the droid, the, the mech bots, which that's means right. it can carry weight. That's right. So I think that's the more appropriate one. And this thing seems to be relying on some kind of lift forces when it's in full flight. Mm. We can see it using lift here because it's kind of struggling. Mm-hmm. Plus the, the lift makes it torque. I mean, I buy it. It has wings on it. Yeah. Whereas the, the Colonel's is a full VTOL. It can hover. No mm-hmm. problem. Mm-hmm. It's kind of designed for that. This is like a cargo plane. Yeah. I mean, it's really meant for re-entry and getting to the base. Right. So the tactics that the colonel chose with the ground forces being inappropriate, not needed, and then using this for the bombing run, which is slow and I mean, lumbering. Like, also, if this is if this is the dropship or the shuttle, then and I don't see it having like booster rockets. That means this shuttle's rockets are able to, or engines are able to get it mm-hmm. up into space, which means this thing is built for speed, not for maneuverability. So asking right. this thing to like weave through these rocks, yeah, no, no, fly yeah. above it. <laughs> yeah, and you can you can see when it's moving, it's lumbering. That's right, like lumbering movements. It can't control itself away from the rock. Gets its wing taken out. I mean, they, so, they tried to get a seven forty seven to fly underneath a bridge. Right, it's not not a good not a good decision. Not the right choice. Right, Colonel, bad Colonel. tactics. In fact, he's in the craft right now, watching the thing explode. He should be the pilot. Should be in this craft. That's right. That's what we're talking about. Yeah. Hmm. 